thing on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video, we have the FabFitFun unboxing for fall 2021. I will link my FabFitFun playlist to watch previous videos. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Oh, let's get unboxing. FabFitFun is $49.99 per quarter, or you can prepay annually for $175. One of the perks of prepaying annually is that you get to customize your entire box and also get first access to customization and add-ons. Here we go, as I almost whack myself in the face. And this is what the inside looks like. Can't really see much with all the packaging inside. Usually, I like to go through and tell you guys all of the different items that you could have chose through customization, but it's literally given me like recipes, hair care tips and tricks, a let's bounce to get healthy, collagen. So we're just gonna go dive in. First item, is a Dutch oven. I don't have a Dutch oven. I thought it was pretty cool and nifty, something different that isn't necessarily going to be makeup, skincare, or hair care. And I was kind of torn because I wanted the frying pan as well, but I almost added it on and I'm like, I have a bunch of frying pans. I just don't like to clean my frying pans. So just laziness comes into play. But a Dutch oven, I figured, you know what? Let's take this opportunity to choose something that is on the pricier side. This is what the Dutch oven looks like. It is actually a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be. And my only other gripe with it is that it's not gonna match my kitchen. Most of my kitchen accents are red. So blue is definitely gonna throw a little bit of a curveball, but you know what? Burgundy blue, those are abs. Colors. I am very excited to give this baby a try. It had a spicy noodles recipe in the FabFitFun catalog. Hmm. They threw a Heineken 0.0 alcohol, 100% taste. Well, that's no fun. And I don't drink beer as it is. I have to put this in the fridge and let Griffin do a taste test. But then why does it say 21 plus if there's 0.0% alcohol free? I am confusion. Next by Mad Skincare, we have the Glycolic Age Diffusing Cleanser. This is an effective exfoliation and gentle cleansing. A blend of glycolic acid and gentle cleansing agents lift away dirt and dead skin cells, leaving your skin glowing, soothed, and moisturized minimizes the appearance of fine lines and makes your skin look radiant. That is what I really like about glycolic acid. I have not tried anything by Mad Skincare before. This is gonna be a first impressions of the brand. I go through cleansers rather quickly and as we transition into hopefully cooler weather, with that cooler weather, I need my skin to look a little bit more glowy, radiant without stripping away any existing moisture since I do have a very dry skin. Next we have the Pure Lease Pumpkin and Ginger Detoxifying Charcoal Mask. I of all of the customization options, this was truly like the only pumpkin themed I could find. I was a little disappointed with the customizations. Like I really wanted, you know, like a comfy robe, cardigan. I don't know, they had a blanket, but it wasn't like a cozy blanket. It was more of like one of those like waffle blankets. So I would have liked to enjoy maybe some more fall items. I just felt like the fall selection really didn't scream fall to me except for pumpkin in a charcoal mask. But we have the benefits of pumpkin. It's a powerful antioxidant loaded with vitamin C to protect signs of aging. Ginger helps reduce inflammation and even out your skin tone. And white clay tightens skin and purifies pores. I know for me, especially when like the wind kicks up in the fall, my skin tone definitely gets a little bit more redder. So I'm definitely going to need that ginger to help even it out a bit. As well as signs of aging, <laughs> having dry skin, you kind of age a little bit more rapidly. So I have to rely on genetics or products like these that have ingredients to help slow down the signs of aging. Purifying the pores, definitely will need that, especially with the fall allergies kicking up and that wind, you're gonna get a lot of stuff all up on your face. I definitely enjoy Pure Lease a lot. I feel like it's definitely underrated as a brand. It might get a negative stigma just because that it's always in Fab Fun. Ipsy offers BoxyCharm, but I do find their products to work out really nice for my skin. So anytime I see them on add-ons or any Ipsy Flash deals, I take the opportunity to stock up because their products can be on that pricier side. So it's always nice to get in a box like this. Next by Caviar, we have the Replenishing Moisture CC Cream. 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave-In. Oh wait, the brand might be called Alterna. Excuse me on that. I have not tried this brand or heard of it before, but 
A CC cream for your hair, I was very intrigued. There are 10 benefits in this one product, which are moisture, shine, smoothness, softness, UV protection, manageability, strength, anti-breakage, heat protection, and light hold. UV protection is something I tend to lack when it comes to my hair. And I found that Kula actually has like a spray. So that way your scalp and your head doesn't get sunburned. That is definitely one area that it's not very convenient just to take some sunscreen and lather it on. So UV protection, for your hair is something that I've been coming a little bit more conscious of. I definitely need the moisture, the smoothness, the softness, manageability. It's kind of hard to do that when you have really thick hair and luckily it's a little bit shorter right now. But all these other benefits I can totally use any time of the year, especially right now. It is super hot, like miserably hot, 95 degrees, 100% humidity. My hair is so dry out right now. I have literally been washing it once a week because it just doesn't get gross except for like maybe the buildup on like day five from all of the leave-in and dry shampoo I've been using. It's been even more of a struggle even though usually in the winter time is when my hair struggles the most because of how dry and cold it is but there's just something right now with all the heat that my hair is just so brittle right now so any smoothing or moisturizing products i need it right now so i'm definitely going to implement this right away i love that it's a leave-in i go through leave-in quite rapidly so i have high hopes for this product i'll definitely see a difference in my hair with moisture smoothness and softness if this product is helping in my routine next from alginus we have the complete eye renewal balm i'm not familiar with alginus products it's a brand that i just haven't really given a fair chance their products are definitely more on the pricier side and i always hear mixed reviews about it so this is going to be a true test for me and my under eyes they're already dry as it is but when the wind and the cold weather really kick in the under eye area becomes even more delicate it sometimes hurts to apply a cream just from how beat up that they are from the wind it's formulated with algoronic acid the complete eye renewal balm visibly diminishes signs of aging and fatigue which fatigue girl that's a real struggle decreasing the appearance of puffiness and dark circles which my dark circles they're trying to make a comeback while tightening and firming skin around the eyes which I definitely need some of the tightening because wrinkles are trying to make a comeback as well. Within four weeks of use, eye contours are visibly smooth in 91% of subjects. Puffiness appears decreased in 87% of subjects. Dark circles are visibly decreased in 81% of subjects. Cool. So I definitely have high hopes for this. Depending on how this goes over, we'll determine if I explore some more of the products, which I really want to. It's just that price point. Maybe I'll just have to save up my points for Ulta. And then lastly, by Rodile, I have the Pink Diamond Serum. This is an instant lifting serum that's supposed to lift and illuminate. I love Rodile. It's another expensive bougie skincare line and I'm super picky when it comes to my serums I never feel like serums are doing enough for my skincare routine I'm definitely picky when it comes to my serums if I don't notice a difference I either try to give it to a friend or I just declutter it I just don't got time for products that aren't gonna work for my face I have a serum that I got in Ipsy and I'm running low on it I'm super sad because it does a fantastic job working with my moisturizers this one definitely seems like it's supposed to do a little bit more anti-aging properties but if it can also do that plus mimic what that ipsy serum is doing for me i will be in a great shape another serum that i really do like is the sunday riley good jeans i have noticed a huge difference in my skin texture and my redness and then I saw from a YouTuber that I like, SS Sniper Wolf, has been using a lot of the Caudalie products. So it got me thinking because Caudalie is another brand I'm not familiar with, but she has gorgeous, flawless skin. So I'm just like, maybe it's a chance to try that. But maybe since I'm running low on serum, this could do something in the interim. I definitely love that Rodile is a part of FabFitFun. Every time I see them, I stock up on their products and add-ons, choose whatever product it may be for customization. My friend Catherine turned me on to this brand and when I saw the price point of it I looked at her like she had five heads because we'll go to Sephora and I'll pick out a product saying hey you should try that it'll be good for your skin then she looks at me like I have five heads so it's that give and take and now for the add-ons I do want to mention I did do my first FabFitFun refill I don't have it in my box currently because I already opened it gave it to the pups 
but I did do the zippy paws refill right here. Let's just say that the taco is pretty much destroyed. There's foam in it as opposed to stuffing and Banshee was so obsessed with ripping out every piece of foam from the dang taco and the donut currently has a hole in it. I know that Banshee and Landy are trying to rip the squeaker out. I have faith in Landy. She is very savage when it comes to that, but they seem to really enjoy it. I'm very excited to see what Winter's toys will be. First by Authentic Beauty Concept, we have their dry shampoo. I got a deluxe size with one of my Ulta's free gift with purchases. I'm obsessed. I think it does a fantastic job. No buildup, no annoying white cast, but it does a really good job. When up here, kind of gets like that really greasy, oily, nasty feeling. So this has been my latest secret of why I can wash my hair maybe once Twice a week is a little bit more normal than just once. I've just been obsessed with it and it smells so, so good. I do have a bunch of bottles of Batiste dry shampoo on deck, but I just couldn't beat the price of this add-on and I have been absolutely loving it. My deluxe size is just about out. I'm definitely excited to have a full size on deck. I would definitely love to see this continue make an appearance in add-ons. Next we have the Karuna hydrating face masks. Definitely don't need any more sheet masks. I saw the word hydrating hydrating it's a new brand I had to give it a try it's supposed to help hydrate revive and glow it is free of parabens phylates formaldehyde SLS and mineral oils it's vegan With all that I just couldn't beat it and I believe that it broke down to being about two dollars a sheet mask which isn't a bad price at all my skin has been super dry lately which is very unusual considering how hot and the humidity is usually my face is a little bit more combination in the summertime where it has been pretty much dry as if it were winter time. If you tried this brand, let me know your experience in the comments below. Next from Daily Concepts, we have a lip scrubber. I've been wanting one of these for the longest time. TMI, gross, I know, but my lips are super dry and they're constantly chapped, so I'm wondering if something like this could definitely help. Next, we have a Grace and Stella shampoo and conditioner. This is actually a repurchase for me. I first bought this duo on an Ipsy Shopper deal. I'm obsessed with it. I did use argan oil consistently in the past, but I felt like it weighed down my hair quite a bit but I think how it's formulated in this duo it's not that heavy and I've noticed a huge difference with how soft and smooth my hair is only thing is I went through the conditioner so quickly compared to the shampoo like I think I have about half of the shampoo left and no conditioner next from daily concepts we have these reusable rounds I have a bunch of these already existing in my collection I just go through them so quickly because of removing like eyelash glue or lip Stick, they just get stained and gross really really quick so it doesn't hurt to have a few extras on deck next we have some invisible bobbles when I switched over to these elastics didn't realize how expensive that these were so I decided to take the opportunity of having them on FabFitFun add-ons because it's about half the price and going to Target there's six of them which I think it evened out to being about a dollar per hair tie lastly an eye mask I lost one of my favorite ones that I got during Ulta's Black Friday last year very very sad must have decluttered it by accident and then I have one from glow recipe which is severely stretched out so figured it was time for a new one but it's supposed to do a really good job making it pitch black when you wear it I do have the unfortunate terrible habit of sleeping with the TV on I've been like this ever since I was in high school I can even sense when the TV shuts off that's probably the biggest contributor of my poor sleep but I don't know if it's an ADHD symptom or something, but I cannot sleep with the silence. Like, something about the silence just really bothers me. I usually put on a show that I have watched like literally a thousand times. Maybe it's because the voices are just so soothing, calming to me, like that helps me fall asleep and stay asleep. I've definitely considered signing up for sleep studies because of how much sleep or lack thereof that I get. I would love to know, did you guys get the FabFitFun box for fall 2021? What did you customize with? Did you choose any of the same products that I did? Did you add anything on? What were your thoughts of this box? Did you guys think that it was very fall themed? When I think of fall, I think of pumpkins, not just in my skincare. <laughs> Big sweaters, leggings, boots, hot chocolate, s'mores. Give me something to work. I think just in the end, I really like theming. And are you guys looking forward to winter 2022? That's crazy. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your review anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.